I've spent a lot of time making videos that review video games. I've always been fascinated by entertainment and escapism. So naturally, like a lot of other people my age, I'm 22, I wanted to break into the video game industry, but I really didn't have any clue as to how I would do that. I grew up disliking my environment a ton, and I think it sort of turned me into a contrarian. Well, not sorta, of, it did. Whatever my family liked, I disliked based off of nothing other than it was loved by people I struggled to love myself. As I grew up, of course, this caused a ton of conflict, and through this conflict, I was encouraged to think a lot about why I like or dislike certain things. This also caused a ton of problems. I've judged people based off of nothing other than what sort of entertainment they consume in the past, and I really, really discourage anybody from doing anything like this. Nevertheless, some people like games for decompressing. Some people like games for their art. Some people like games for the competition that it evokes out of them. Point being, there are so many different reasons to like something that's an umbrella for so many different forms of entertainment. There are so many fucking games they are all meant to make you feel something completely different. Sekiro rewards me for solving problems and executing intense mechanical encounters. God of War Ragnarok reverberates life experiences I've had through metaphors and beautiful storytelling. World of Warcraft has given me a world to escape into when I've been insecure about my circumstances in real life. With games being this complex and our palettes being a weird culmination of, of life experiences that are all completely different from each other, how do you review a video game? I fucking love Castle Crashers and I also like Ghost of Tsushima a lot. I've had a lot more fulfillment from Castle Crashers. Grabbing three other friends and completing that game in a night has created some super fulfilling memories. However, based off of nothing other than the amount of people it has taken to create both Castle Crashers and Ghost of Tsushima, it feels objectively wrong for me to say Castle Crashers is a better game. Sure, I've had more fulfilling experiences with Castle Crashers, but how much of that is influenced by the people I was playing with? Ghost of Tsushima's ending was phenomenal, and that wasn't aided by any outside influence, or I wasn't I wasn't playing the game with any other player. So by that metric, it's a better game, right? Well, I I don't think so. I think everything in life is contextual, and to say that one game is better than another discredits subjectivity. So I, I guess this brings up the question, what is the purpose of a game review? I think it's to highlight the specifics of certain games, and it's up to the consumer as to if they think that experience is for them or not. We are human and have biases because of that. I do not like survival games, and because of that, when there are survival systems in a video game, I'm generally going to be pretty critical. Does that mean that the game is bad? No. It just means that if I personally had to review a game that had survival systems, it would skew a little bit lower than something that didn't have those systems in play. Entertainment and art in general is very subjective, and it feels kind of weird to review something that is never going to be for everyone. Where does this want to review come from? Well, for me, it came from wanting to make a career out of something that I'm passionate about. There is a want for reviews so that people can make more informed decisions about what they're purchasing. And I think that sort of takes a lot of the humanity out of something that's meant to be rather personal.